Alright, so guys, welcome to the video. Today's video, obviously, I'm guessing by that the reason why you click on the video is because you want to get the bungo cap for your streams or for your videos, stuff like that. Just a little a little sort of tip and stuff, um, you know, to complement your content without have, actually having a face cam. I use it because I don't want to show a face cam yet because I'm not I don't feel like I'm not really ready to start using a face cam. So pretty much all you want to do is go into the description, take the link, and then put it in your search bar, and it will just pop up with this. Um you can close that. Obviously, you have to make sure that you have WinRAR installed, press extract to and then just pretty much select where you want it to download. So I'm going to pick my desktop and I'm going to press OK. And then uh, it should pretty much start extracting. Obviously, you've got to make sure you get the, get the right one. I have it open multiple times. And then somewhere it should open. Here we go. So now that we have all the files correctly saved and opened up, obviously now you want to go into settings. Now, don't change anything right off at the start. Make sure you understand what you're changing what you're doing, stuff like that. So, I personally, when I'm get when I'm playing games, I use my W and S a lot. So I'm going to change this one to W. Make sure it's in caps. If it's not in caps, it won't work. And I'm probably going to change this one to my spacebar. So now, now that I've done that, if I go into my bongo cat because it uses the settings as thingies. Now, obviously, you just press escape, and it changes the thingy from drawing to this. It directs your mouse, as you can see. When I move it, it moves around. When I press, now if you do get them both mu mucked up, mixed up, sorry, it won't work. So make sure that when you've done it, you close it and save it so then it works. And when you press it, it should work. I may have to reopen it as it's using current settings. Escape. There you go. Okay, W is working. For spacebar, I don't understand. I don't quite know what to change for the spacebar one. But just put, you know, put like S or something. W and S, they're your probably two most used keys when playing games. So when you save it, open it up. Oh, I accidentally put it on it twice. There you go. Now this is W, this is S. So now it works. You can set it to whichever key you use like most. If you do want me to do another video on how to change your background and stuff, just tell me and I will. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, I can change the background, the mouse mat, the keyboard, the mouse. I can help you change all of that. Now obviously it's added in two... OBS, that's another thing. So obviously you're going to want to head over to the plus, find game capture, add source, add new source instead. Probably I'm just going to change it to Bongo Cat. Doesn't matter about caps or spelling at the minute. Capture Pacific window, select Bongo Cat, done. Now you just got to make sure it's open. I just drag it to the side when I'm streaming, and there you go. Now you have it. Here's the bongo cat. Oh, I just moved that to the side. But here's the bongo cat. Pretty simple. Now you've got this. Pretty simple. That's all you have to do. Pretty simple. Just go down to the description, click on it, download it, set it up. Do exactly what I did. Make sure not to mess around with the settings too much. Make sure you press escape or press, close it and then press save. That's pretty much all the settings. If you do use it for like a mouse, like a, for a keyboard or mouse or something, just pull it up. Pull it up from the basement, from the bottom, and then you see it says escape for mouse, escape for, you know, just press escape. Escape changes it from the mouse and keyboard to a um, drawing pad and mouse. So for people that like to draw or to do art and stuff, they use this. If you did enjoy the video and thought it was useful, make sure to like and comment and subscribe if you're not already. And if you do want me to do any background um, videos on how to change the background or anything like that on the Bongo Cat, make sure to comment down below on what I what you want me to change or teach you guys on how to do. If you did find this was useful, thanks for watching and I hope it was useful in one way or another. And I'll see you all in the next one. See ya.